I was always attracted to astrology. I was the type that I would get books um, on rising signs, and zodiac signs, sun signs, and all of the, you know, the typical books back at 17, 18 years old. But when I started getting into the charts, I think I was in my 30s, just learning to understand the charts. But it wasn't until 2012, or 20, between 2010 and 2012, when I started hanging around other black astrologers, when I realized how deep the rabbit hole goes, because you know, whenever we touch something, it's dip, we go, we take it to a totally different dimension, right? And so when I started entering into their groups and being a part of their, like listening to their lives and their podcasts and really getting into the deep dive studies of astrology and how many layers that it has, I was hooked. And then I started really getting into it a lot deeper. And then I realized that there was a whole different side of it. So the thing about astrology is that you can customize it and make it your own. There is not one way to do it. Some people say they have the only way. That's a lie, right? It's just like words or languages or letters and language and numbers. Once you learn the language, you can start creating your own sentences. You can start creating your own paragraphs. You can start creating your own novels and your books. So it's the same thing. Once you learn the basics, once you get down the basics and understand the language, the symbolisms, the numerology involved in it, then you can bake your own cake. You can create your own recipe. And that's what I am. I love doing that. I, 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 I challenge anyone who says you can't do it that way. I revel at doing it that way because I believe that this knowledge is infinite. You can't make it finite, right? So to combine numerology, to combine sacred geometry, to combine both systems, sidereal and tropical, to add in the 13th sign, like all of this is yum, yum, yum to me because then you can delve deeper and find out more truths about whatever it is that you're trying to, to, to uncover or get better explanation of. You're going to find it in all of these systems. So I look at it as like using both hemispheres of the brain. You can't use one without the other. You can't just be all left brain or all right brain because I started to look at the anatomy and physiology, especially of the chakras. And I realized that the chakras are vortex that go straight through the middle of the body. And there's, there's chakras all over the body, but the main seven ones, right? It goes from the top of the head all the way down through the middle of the body. And then there's that one particular chakra or gland that everyone is you know hyped about and that's the pineal gland what is the pineal gland said smack dab in the center the mind's eye and the mind's eye is in between both hemispheres of the brain connecting both sides telling both sides of the story and that's my approach to astrology there's many sides to the story so I'm going to be like the yin-yang, the line that's in between the yin-yang, and I'm going to walk the middle path, and I'm going to merge both sides to bring forth my truth and my reality. And that right there is one of the most powerful energies or influences of astrology. Yeah, astrology is the truth. It just depends on who's the chef whipping up the dish at the moment. People underestimate the power of astrology. They do. You know, there's a reason why the powers that be told you better stay away from it. They made it taboo. And they made it that way for a reason because of the power that it holds. And the real, only thing really what it is, it's not so much the power. It's the knowledge, right? It's uncovering that ancient knowledge. And it's really the knowledge within the self, the knowledge about you. It's your story. Um... And the influence that it has over our behavior is incredible because the planets are making aspects to one another. They're making aspects to you with inside yourself. Um, and and it's, it's, a, it's a dialogue that the planets are having. And the, the conversation that they're having is either a harmonious one or a very intense one, right? So it all depends on the aspects they're having. And you carry that energy with you. And also, when you get around someone that energy is triggered as well. 
You know, have you ever been around somebody and they just irritated the hell out of you? And you didn't even understand why. It's just their presence bothered you. It disturbed you. And somebody, it was their spirit. It's about their spirit. Is it about their spirit? Or is that they're holding a planet that's adverse to you or in, I won't say adverse to you, but are in a harsh aspect to you. For instance, in astrology, some of the aspects they use that are uh, harsh or will be 90 degree angles because astrology is all sacred geometry, right? Measured by angles and degrees. So if a planet is making a harsh aspect, such as a 90 degree angle or even a 180 degree angle, those are the main ones. Um, you're gonna feel the level of intensity behind those angles, what we call squares or oppositions. Meaning, so let's use the planetary energy of Mars. Mars can rule aggression, um, agitation, um, or even sexual energy, things that you may be attracted to um, that you want to seek after. So let's say someone has an energy of Mars, the way, where their planet Mars is located in their chart, and they come around you, and your Mars is at a 90 degree angle to where their Mars is, instantly there's going to be a level of intensity there. Instantly, there's going to be an instant attraction in the beginning. But that track, the attraction will slowly turn into aggravation, irritation, frustration, combative energy, right? And we have to understand our natures astrologically because you will never be able to make something that's in one element like water be harmonious to an element like fire. Okay, you have to be able to embrace and accept your differences astrologically. Then you'll be able to behave and you understand someone why they are the way they are and why you are reacting to them the way that you do. Astrological aspects, planetary aspects, the degrees that they're making to you will trigger behavior between the both of you. Yeah, astrology is real. We just need to take the time to unpack it and understand it psychologically because it does influence our behavior. North Node Astrological Consultations available now at sacredtea.net.